right, guys, good to be back. So after two weeks of pretty much rain after rain after rain, uh, we're going to try to sneak in a little bit of paint work uh, so we can get these cars finished up because uh, we have a lot of paint work to do. We have three cars we need to paint. So I want to start by getting the rear bumper primed and ready for paint for the uh, Project Mustang. And then we're going to um, get the Adventure done. And then after those two are done, then we're going to get the hood painted on the 07 Mustang. That was my donor for the project car. So, like I said, we got a lot to do. So, let's get started. later all right so that is it for the primer I think it went down really good I'll walk around here with you Nice and, uh, I'm not going to touch it, but it looks like it's nice and smooth. So I'm going to let this sit overnight. It says to wait about two hours minimum. And uh, tomorrow we'll come out and sand it. And if it doesn't rain like they're forecasting it to, then, uh, then we'll get some base coat down and finish up the bumper. So we'll catch you guys later. All right, guys. So it is a warm day out. This has been sitting overnight. It is close to 90 degrees out. We've got some clouds in the sky, but the sun is shining. So we're going to go ahead and wet sand this primer with some 600 grit and uh, throw some base down and get the sucker painted. Before we start sanding, I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray some regular old black paint. I missed it over at the guide coat so that we don't sand through the primer. Alright, so 
I'll mist this over. And oh man, I've got paint all over me already. I just lock can. Should be wearing a mask. That's all right. All right. Now that I got paint all over me, I think our guide coat is good enough. So let's get to seeing it. Then we'll mix some paint, tack it down, and get to spraying.
I did kind of screw up a little bit mixing up this paint. I grabbed the wrong bottle when I was putting in what I thought was the reducer, was the activator. I caught myself about halfway through. So I added a little more reducer than what it said. But so far this first coat looks like it uh, is setting up okay, so. Thank goodness, because I do not feel like doing this again for like the 50th time. So there's something about me and this bumper, we just don't, uh, we just don't get along. So let's go ahead and get round two. So well, by the way, it's been sitting for about 15 minutes. So we should be going for round two. Let's go ahead and pack it down first. repainting the bumper um, I didn't get the clear on it last night because when I went down or when I went to finish the last uh, coat of base coat something flew in onto the bumper and I don't know if you can see it on the camera and then of course I tried to pick it out of there and which basically made it worse however it did level pretty good around it and but then it, I went in and sprayed some extra on there try to level that out where I picked at it and then the uh, paint started to run right here so I went ahead and called it quits and what we're going to do now is I'm going to do a little sanding on that spot try to flatten that back down and we'll go ahead and spray one more coat of base coat down and then we'll get it uh, uh, cleared and then hopefully this bumper will finally be done. So I'm going to go ahead and get the garage ready, get it set back up. It is about 71 degrees out, so it's perfect. And uh, let's get it done. All right, guys, so I got me a piece of Thousand Grit sandpaper. And I just broke the end off of one of my mixing sticks. And I'm going to wrap that around the stick there. And then I'm going to dip this in the water. And then we're just going to gently wet sand this area. A few moments later. Alright. Go ahead and wipe this down with wax and grease remover. This might take some base coat off. We'll slightly do it. Won't scrub it. I just want to get any skin oils off of there where I touched it.
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and tack this down again, and we'll shoot our first uh, coat of clear. You can still see the run a little bit, but you know, at this point, I think it's good enough. and years later. Fifteen minutes later. Okay, so the bumper is done, guys. I think it came out decent. There's a lot of trash floating in the air today, of course. All the uh, trees and the pollen. Several people mowing, so there's just all kinds of junk in the air. So, I'm not too thrilled about it, but at the same time, it's not bad. But, you know, for how much time you spend prepping it and the fact that we had to repaint this bumper like three times I did want it to come out if not perfect near perfect but it's not too bad we'll sand it down polish it and I think it'll come out just fine All right, so I'm gonna let that dry and I need to head to work and uh, get some things done there and then this afternoon, I'll um, open up the door, get out in the daylight, and see how good it looks. We'll catch you guys later. All right, so it's only been about five hours, but uh, since the bumper is done painted, but it is about 92 degrees out, so it should be good and dry. So I went ahead and bought it out. So we get it on the Mustang. hanging on the car I just have it pushed into the brackets I don't have um, any of the nuts holding it in but not too bad I think once we get it all polished up and uh, wet sanded it'll blend in quite well Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content. And uh, check out some of the other videos if you're new to the channel. And you can see the whole build. And uh, in the meantime, I gotta get out of here. I need to go to the store and get some paint for the Avenger. So, 
we'll give this a couple days and we'll come back out get it all uh, fastened up and then we'll get the stripes on but in the meantime peace Thank you.